My name is Tariq El Awadi. I am an archaeologist and consultant. I would like to welcome all of you today in Tutankhamun exhibition, a unique exhibition to show you the magic and the beauty of Tutankhamun. This is our window to look at the world of the pharaohs. Here, more than 1,000 objects are being exhibited in a way to show you the beauty of each object and also the story. Not only the story of the treasure of Tutankhamun, but also the story of the king himself, his life, his death, and the story of the discovery. This is a unique discovery. It was called uh, the marvelous treasure, the treasure of all treasures. And uh, uh, when we talk about uh, Tutankhamun's treasure, people only think about the shiny gold, the gold of the pharaohs. But here you will see more than gold. You will see the life and the death of Tutankhamun, his beauty and his magic. And we would like to tell the story to everyone in the world. Tutankhamun is known by his treasure, but until recently, very little were known about Tutankhamun. Who was the father and the mother and how he lived? All this information we got from our recent research made by the Egyptian Mami project carried out in the year 2005. Now, after almost 100 years from the discovery of Tutankhamun, we know more and more and also the cause of this. People always ask the question how the king died uh, early. We think that he was ill and uh, he faced an accident and this accident was the cause of his uh, death. But we still have so many years in order to say we know the complete story of Tutankham. Beautiful inscriptions, hieroglyphs, written and scenes from the Book of the Dead. The ancient Egyptians put these chapters on the golden shrines in order to make a safe passage to the king, to the afterlife, to his eternity. And here we can see the titles and the beautiful names of Tutankhamun. We can read from right to left, Sara, Enretef, Mriyef, Nebchau, Tutankhamun, Heka, was Heka Ionoshimai. The meaning is the son of the sun god from his own body, his beloved, lord of appearance and shining, Tutankhamun, king of Luxor. Okay, it's definitely a family event. It's uh, a lot of people phone and ask if it's okay to bring young kids, whether they'll get bored. They'll absolutely love it. We have a separate audio device specifically for children, so it speaks their language, it's fun for them. And we even have, in our retail shop, we have catalogues and then specifically ones written for children as well. And that's how we've had a great um, response from schools. Just this morning alone, we've had over 200 school kids visit us. Please don't forget, at the end of the exhibition, we've got a marvelous gift shop. All the, all the, most of the goodies sold here are made by home family industries. So you are supporting the community in Egypt. Um, we've also got catalogues specifically for adults and some for kids. And there's fun things like slap wraps and Tutankhamun masks, uh, reflectors, uh, papyrus bookmarks.